Night, a shocking turn of events in a murder trial that took place over three years ago. Kimberly Mawson was sentenced to 30 years behind bars for the death of her 19-month-old daughter. But tonight, the attorney for the child's father says his client confessed to the crime. Hi, with news reporter Nathan Uosu joins us now with the latest developments from the mobile newsroom. Eyewitness News has learned a motion was filed last week requesting a new trial for Kimberly Mawson, who has already served two and a half years of her 35-year sentence. Did you hit baby Jane's head? That was Daniel Fusco, a key witness in the 2007 trial of Kimberly Mawson. She was convicted of second-degree murder in the death of her 19-month-old daughter, Jade. But Eyewitness News has learned eight years ago, Fusco admitted to his former public attorney, Richard Corley, that he did, in fact, cause the injuries that killed baby Jade. Eyewitness News legal analyst Lou Polner says knowledge of this admission could change everything. The judge could make the determination that uh, this new evidence uh, requires the release of Ms. Mawson immediately, yes. An autopsy found that Jade died from blunt force trauma to the head. Daniel Fusco, Mawson's ex-boyfriend, was the last one to see her alive. Mawson left her in Fusco's care one day in 2002 while she went to work. Fusco said Jade just collapsed. Mawson always maintained her innocence. And our legal analyst says that this admission raises some questions about confidentiality. Now, normally, conversations between lawyers and clients are always confidential unless the lawyer learns that his or her client is about to commit a crime or harm someone. In this case, the crime had already been committed. Nekanuosu, Eyewitness News.